Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you our easy lentil bolognese. It's so delicious. It's oil free, refined sugar free, um, salt free, it's SOS free, but I just love this recipe. It's packed full of flavor and I still have pasta while losing weight and I'm going to show you how I do that, but I have some whole wheat penny pasta. I also have some brown lentils and our bolognese. It is delicious, filling, so good. So I'm gonna have all of this today with a salad for lunch. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned to the end to make sure how to make all of this. And also down below in our description box, I have our website, which has a printable option for you guys. I also have the recipe down below if you'd like it that way. And I'd really love for you guys to check out this recipe. It's so good. You guys are just gonna, it's gonna be a top favorite for sure. Starting in a large pot, I like to saute my red onions first, so go ahead and cut up a medium red onion. You can also use white for this, and I went ahead and added it to a medium heat pan. And I also like to saute in some vegetable broth. You could also use water for this part. It's totally optional, but we just want to saute until the red onions are translucent. And this is going to be such a fast recipe. It doesn't take long to have everything come together. So I just add a little bit of vegetable broth just so nothing sticks in my pan. And you're just going to let them cook till they're see-through. Really, really simple. So this just takes a couple of minutes. It comes together pretty quickly. And I really like using red onions when I cook, but again, you can use yellow onions or white onions, whatever color you have will work for this recipe. Once everything has come together and it's cooked through, you can go ahead and add your other vegetables. So I really like carrots and celery for this recipe. So I went ahead and cut up some carrots and diced up some celery. And really, the main part of cooking this recipe is going to be so that your carrots are soft enough that they're not um, super hard. And so really, that's the way that I tell when this recipe is over, when our carrots become soft. So it's really, like I said, super easy recipe. So go ahead and add your celery and carrots. I think chopping may be the hardest part of doing this whole this whole thing. It's, it's a really quick quick and simple lunch or dinner option. And you're getting in a lot of veggies. All right, next goes in our diced tomatoes. So I just have a can of no salt added fire roasted tomatoes. You can, of course, use three to four large tomatoes that maybe you picked out of your garden. Um, I put two cans in this recipe. You can kind of play around with what you have for sizes of tomatoes that you want to use. Anywhere I'd say from three to four large ones would be perfect. And really the liquid is going to release from the tomatoes and, you know, all of the juices that are in the can. But we're not really adding anything else liquid-wise. This is really everything that's going to cook together and make a really flavorful dish. So go ahead and give that a stir. Again, this is what's going to keep everything from sticking to the bottom. So on medium heat, you want to just stir everything up. And as you cook it, the tomatoes will release more liquid. So again, this is really quick and simple. This recipe also freezes excellent. So if you're somebody who likes to freeze it, you can do that as well. All right, in goes my seasonings. I have some Italian seasoning and some nutritional yeast and some garlic powder. I have lemon juice. Really simple and fast, <laughs> fast ingredients that probably most of you guys have on hand. So I love that. I think I always have all these ingredients always on hand. So anytime that I need something like quick for dinner and I can't think of what to make, generally I make this. But um, even today I had it for lunch and it was so delicious and filling. And you can always change up. I'll tell you about the ways that you can make it interesting throughout the year. You could also add like some... Um, Bread, bread bell pepper to this. You could also add smoked paprika. There's so many different options too to kind of tweak it to what you like. So that's all going to cook together. It's really, again, a simple and fast recipe. You guys are going to be, the hardest part is waiting for the carrots to, to be soft enough and then also to chop everything, which um, is what I look for when I'm making recipes. 
So I have some tomato paste that I added in. Also a little tip, if you don't have tomato paste, you can also use um, a ketchup. That also would work for this. So check your pantry and see what you have. And I'm going to mix that in together. And then again, it's just a kind of a waiting game to make sure the carrots are soft. You can cover this and let it go on a low simmer. And I just kind of check on it. And when my carrots are able to cut through with a fork, you know that it's done and it's ready to enjoy. So in the meantime, while this is cooking, I go ahead and prep my pasta that I want to eat with this. I also prep my uh, lentils. Now, if you're in in a calorie weight loss mode, uh, I suggest measuring out the pasta you want to eat with this dish. And I always measure out my lentils or beans just because I do Dr. Gregor's Daily Dozen and it just gives me, uh, I can check the box when I have half a cup of beans. So it's a really good way of keeping track of like how many beans did I have today or lentils. So I made some whole wheat penny pasta. I made one serving of it. Um, I think a lot of the times when you're eating foods like a little bit more refined like pasta, it's really easy to you know, you eat like half a bag when you make it. So I always measure, that's really like the one thing that I measure out each time if I'm going to have while I'm in a weight loss mode. If you are not trying to lose weight, you could just make some whole wheat pasta or whatever kind of pasta you like and then serve this over top and your family's good to go. Also, you could just add in green lentils to this and not measure it out. I keep those things separate because it lets me kind of track what I'm getting in through the day. And then I have like an abundance of, I could have as much of this um, vegetable bolognese that I have right here cooking and just serve it on top of the servings that I already measured out. I hope that makes sense. If you're not losing weight, I would just add the lentils in. And again, you could just make the pasta separate and put this over top. But for me, it's really easy just to measure everything for that, that part of it. And usually that's what I'm doing at this point while I'm cooking and waiting for it to be done. I also have some white miso you'll see to the side. Um, sometimes whenever you're cooking white miso and you want to keep the probiotic effect of it, it's good to add it in at the end instead of killing off those by putting it in the recipe early. Someone made a comment on a previous video that keeping it to the end, and it's something that I think about and I do, but sometimes when I make these videos, I just throw it in in the middle. Um, so we're going to do it the correct way and we're going to add it when it's done cooking and I have my heat off and the heat of everything will, will melt the miso into the dish. And again, this is a salt substitute. You can of course leave that out. It's not going to like make or break the meal. Um, and you can add whatever seasonings you want to this. The, the base of it is going to be the tomatoes and all the veggies. So you can kind of play around, but I'm going to show you that I'm going to add it in at the end so don't kill off any of those probiotic good uh, health benefits that I'm getting also by having white miso in this recipe. So you kind of just let this cook away. Uh, you could add a lid and put it on a low simmer. That really helps. And it's, again, super easy. This is a great recipe for camping. This freeze is really good. It's really nice. Um, I have this in the summer, but it's really nice in the winter when you want like a comfort food. It's definitely a thicker sauce. Again, we're making bolognese, so it's it has a little bit of liquid, but it's much thicker. And here I'm adding the miso. My, my induction top is turned off, and then you can just stir it in. And as, well, as long as you stir it really well, you won't get clumps of it in your food um, while you're eating it. So I just go ahead and give that a nice stir and you're done. It is so simple. Again, the main point to check to see if this recipe is complete is that the carrots are soft and then you know you're there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you check out our description box down below. Also our website, everything's printable. You can see here this is one serving of lentils, one serving of pasta that's whole grain. I'm going to put as much of this on top as I desire. And then it's so delicious. I can't wait for you guys to try it. So make sure you leave us a comment. Let us know how you enjoyed this meal. Let us know how your family enjoyed this meal. It's a hit with everyone I've given it to that I've had over it. So I really hope you guys like it. It's comforting. It's filling. 
it's just, I don't know, it's a wonderful. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna try it out. Seriously, this is so filling and delicious. Also, you can change up with fresh tomatoes or canned tomatoes. You can change up the lentils. You can change up the pasta shapes. It never gets boring. I can't even explain to you like the amount of flavor that's in here. So good. So I hope you guys will make this. Leave us a comment if you do. Make sure you're subscribed. I make new videos, whole food plant-based, oil-free, every week, twice a week. And check out our free Facebook group down below as well. And I hope I see you guys around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go eat lunch. I'll see you later. Bye.